How to view the Atom Detail Report. To find this report, you're going to use the tab Scores and Reports. Drop down to Active Pulse Math. From here, you'll see I'm viewing my third grade math class, and all of their most recent assessment data is listed here. For any individual reports, you're going to use the Reports column on the far right-hand side. Here's where you'll select the drop down and have all the individual reports available to you. Today we're going to look at the detail report, which is really our top report to use for the Atom assessment. So I will select detail. You'll notice here we're including any active pulse data, right? So any current data on the student. You can hide mastered subtest. This will make the report shorter, and um, but that you can always uncheck that so that you can actually view all mastered subtests as well. We'll go ahead and leave that selected for now so it's a little bit shorter. And then you can view or download it as a PDF. So I'll go ahead on the right hand side and select run. From here you'll have a summary of scores chart listed and the way you interpret this is by strand. So we're right now the first band here is numbers and operations. You can notice by the green underline that that's where the student's score fell in that range. So the raw score for the student was 36. That places them right here in the third grade range at a grade level of 3.7. And I can see this on the far right hand side. So this is a really great view overall to see the strands and how the students are progressing. Notice the red is indicating below grade level. So you can see their raw score and how that correlates to the grade level score listed right above. Now the column or the chart here on the right is the legend to help you use this report most effectively. The check mark indicates mastered on grade subtest or on grade. The X indicates below grade subtest. The double arrow identifies the skill to teach first in that subtest, and the single arrow is the next skill after that to teach. If there is a plus sign, that's indicating mastery of that. If there's a minus sign indicated they were tested, but they were not able to show mastery. And then NT indicates not tested. So either it was their frustration point and the assessment didn't continue, um, and you'll see that indicated on their report. You also have the student information on the top right when, um, you know, their teacher, when this was updated, and of course their grade and age as well. So to read this test, we're going to just scroll right down and start with numbers and operations, and we're going to take a look at place value. Now you'll notice all of the subtests here that make up place value are listed out. If I'm using the legend here, I can see I have a double arrow listed at place value decimal. So I know right away that that's my next skill to work on with this student under place value. Here on the right hand side, you'll see the section score correlated with that grade level score indicated here. I can see exactly where the student um, completed that grade level score. The NT indicates not tested, the plus sign indicates mastery. So they were in this um, assessment given the place value of thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands to millions, and they were able to show mastery. So the next skill to teach is place value of decimals. You can see the minus sign here. They were tested, but weren't able to show mastery of that. So you would continue to read the report this way. Continuing on to each of the subtests, now we're looking at subtraction of whole numbers. Again, listed out all of those subtests that make up subtraction of whole numbers. Again, on the far right hand side, I can see the grade level score. And then if they were tested, NT is not tested, plus sign indicates mastery, and then minus sign we can see right here. Our instructional goal and our next skill is subtraction with regrouping. So you have this available for every single subtest. There is no guesswork. You know exactly where the students are working, where they were able to show mastery, and the next skill that you're going to work on with them. 
So this becomes just a really incredible tool to use to really be able to focus on that next skill with each student, and then you'll see them progressing through as they continue on with Let's Go Learn. Okay, so to find this report, I'm gonna select the back arrow. Again, I'm gonna be on Scores and Reports, Active Pulse Math. Right now I am looking at my third grade math class to find individual reports far right-hand side. This works throughout the website. I'm gonna drop down to reports. The second option is detail, and that's where you'll find the detail Adam Active Pulse report. Thank you.